Barry Gibb is a legendary singer, songwriter, and producer, best known as the lead vocalist of the Bee Gees, a group he formed with his brothers Robin and Maurice. Over a career spanning six decades, Barry has achieved global success, penning numerous hits not only for the Bee Gees but also for other artists. He's also enjoyed a long and successful marriage to Linda Gray, former Miss Edinburgh. Join Facts First as Barry Gibb confirms the rumors about his wife after 50 years. Early Life Barry Gibb was born on September 1, 1946 in Douglas, Isle of Man, to Hugh Gibb and Barbara Pass. He's the oldest of five children. His family moved to Manchester, where he and his brothers, twins Robin and Maurice, started showing music interest early on. In 1955, the Gibb family relocated to Redcliffe, Australia, where the brothers started their music career. In their early years there, Barry and his brothers formed a band called the Rattlesnakes, which later became Wee Johnny Hayes and the Blue Cats, and finally settled on the Bee Gees, a name derived from the initials of Brothers Gibb. Initially, Barry started as the lead vocalist, and the group performed in local theaters and on television. They achieved their first chart success in Australia with the song Spicks and Specs in 1966. The family moved back to the UK in 67, and it was here that the Bee Gees really took off. They were signed by Robert Stigwood, who also managed Cream and Eric Clapton. Their first international album, Bee Gees First, was released in 1967 and included hits like New York Mining Disaster 1941, To Love Somebody, and Holiday. The Bee Gees' earlier music was heavily influenced by the Beatles, and they initially gained popularity as a psychedelic pop group. However, they later transitioned to a more soulful, disco-oriented sound, which brought them massive success in the 70s, particularly with the soundtrack to Saturday Night Fever, which included hits like Stayin' Alive, Night Fever, and How Deep Is Your Love. Barry played a significant role not only as lead vocalist, but also as songwriter and producer. He wrote many of the group's hit songs, often collaborating with his brothers and others. Over time, he developed his distinctive falsetto voice, which became one of the signature sounds of the Bee Gees. Continued Career Success Barry's career has spanned over six decades, and he has achieved incredible success as a singer, songwriter, and producer. Barry released his first solo album, Now Voyager, in 1984. Although it didn't achieve the same level of success as his work with the Bee Gees, the album included the hit single, Shine Shine. In addition to his work with the Bee Gees and as a solo artist, Barry has written and produced songs for other artists. He wrote the title song for the 1970 film, Melody, and he produced albums for artists like Barbara Streisand, Dionne Warwick, and Kenny Rogers. Barry and the Bee Gees have received numerous awards and honors throughout their career. They won nine Grammys, including a Lifetime Achievement Award in 2015. Barry was made a Commander of the Order of the British Empire, a CBE, in 2004, and was knighted by Queen Elizabeth in 2018 for his services to music and charity. Despite the deaths of his brothers Maurice and Robin, Barry has continued to perform and produce music. In 2016, he released a solo album called In The Now, and in 2021, he released Greenfield's The Gibb Brothers Songbook Volume 1, an album featuring country versions of classic Bee Gees songs performed by Barry and various guest artists. Barry Gibb's career is one of incredible longevity and success. Barry's Marriages Barry's first marriage was to Maureen Bates, whom he married in 1966 at age 19. But that marriage was short-lived, and they divorced in 1970. It's believed that the pressures of fame and the demands of a music career contributed to the end of their relationship. Barry met Linda Gray in 1967 when she was working as a hostess on the BBC's Top of the Pops, and he was performing with the Bee Gees. Linda, born in Scotland in 1950, was a former Miss Edinburgh. They started dating and got married September 1, 1970, which is also Barry's birthday. Their relationship has been strong and supportive. They have five children together, Stephen, Ashley, Travis, Michael, and Alexandra. Barry and Linda have been through many ups and downs together, including the highs of the Bee Gees' success and the lows of the deaths of Barry's brothers and bandmates Maurice and Robin. Over the years, Linda has stayed primarily out of the public eye, focusing on her family and supporting her husband's career. However, she has occasionally appeared in public with Barry at various events. In 2017, they both attended the pre-Grammy Gala in Los Angeles. 
Barry has often spoken about his love and admiration for Linda in interviews. In a 2017 interview with the Daily Mail, he said, quote, Linda is my soulmate. She saved me in so many ways. He also mentioned that Linda helped him get through the deaths of his brothers. Quote, I was dead three times and she brought me back to life. Barry and Linda continue to live together in Miami, Florida, and their relationship is going strong. They've celebrated over 50 years of marriage, a significant milestone that speaks to the strength and resilience of their partnership. Barry reveals a secret. As a longtime rock star, there's no doubt Barry has had his fair share of chances to stray on his marriage if he had chosen to. But to his credit, he's remained faithful to Linda. But that fidelity has been a two-way street. As a former model, Linda has attracted her share of suitors over the years. In fact, Barry revealed that at one point, legendary heartthrob actor Steve McQueen tried to steal her from him. Said Barry, quote, One time we were at the record plant in Los Angeles, and Steve McQueen tried to take off with Linda on the back of his motorbike. She's a very beautiful woman and had just as many opportunities as me. But fortunately for Barry, Linda was able to resist the charm of Steve McQueen and remain steadfast in her connection with Barry. Drugs, his brothers, and his wife. The Gibb brothers, particularly Andy, Maurice, and Robin, faced issues with addiction at various points. The youngest of the Gibbs, Andy, had a successful solo career in the late 70s and early 80s, but he struggled with drug addiction and depression, which led to a decline in his career. He was fired from a lead role in the musical Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat and was dropped by his record label. Despite attempts at rehab and support from his family, Andy was unable to overcome his addictions. He died in 1988 at age 30 from myocarditis, a heart condition exacerbated by years of drug abuse. Maurice Gibb struggled with alcoholism, which led to a temporary split of the Bee Gees in the late 60s. His addiction issues also contributed to the end of his first marriage to singer Lulu. He went to rehab in the early 90s and was able to get sober, but he died in 2003 from complications of a twisted intestine. Robin Gibb also faced issues with alcohol and drug addiction. His struggles with addiction and mental health contributed to the Bee Gees' temporary split in the late 60s, as well as the end of his first marriage. He was able to overcome his addiction issues and remain sober for the later part of his life. He passed away in 2012 from complications related to cancer. Despite these challenges, the Gibb brothers were able to achieve incredible success. And amazingly, through it all, Barry has managed to escape the snare of addiction over the years, and he credits Linda for making that happen. He was quoted as saying, My brothers had to deal with their demons, but I was married to a lady who wasn't going to have it. He said whenever he tried to bring drugs into his home, his wife would simply flush them down the toilet. She was always determined to make sure Barry never fell into the horrors of addiction like his brothers. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you surprised Barry Gibbs' wife chose him over Steve McQueen? Let us know in the comments section below.